Welcome to a new video here on MRTV. My name is Marco Budde and we are going to have a look into Cities VR, the new MetaQuest 2 exclusive game here. And yes, we are the mayor of this city. <laughs> we are in the little office here and this is the main menu. In this video I will show you my first impression of this game and I will show you my city. So let's dive in. This is City VR and this is my city and as you can see Cities VR is a game like SimCity so you have to build your own city, your own infrastructure for your city and you are a mayor, uh, you are the mayor of this town, this city and you have to manage and build everything related to a city and everything related to the needs of your citizen here. So as you can see I have to, I have to build a police department for example and there's a robbery or something so uh, you have to do a lot of things here and I need to fix my my electricity here and uh, the people over there they have no water so yes you have a lot of things to do here and um, I will switch now to the birds view here and um, this is my little city from the top and as you can see it's not as big as it uh, could be on the PC for example and this is the first and the, the main criticism from me that this is a Meta Quest 2 exclusive game as this game could be very nice looking on the PC when we have the, the power on the PC uh, and not the Snapdragon XR2 chip here on the Quest only so you can see the borderline here and um, yes, the city um, in total is not very big, but for me as a beginner in these types of games, uh, for me it's quite big enough because you have a lot of things to do. And um, I will show you now how you can build something, how you can build streets, how you can build buildings and what you have to do as a mayor in your city, in Cities VR. At the beginning of the game you will have a very nice text-based tutorial. So everything I will show you here is explained by the game and this is very very good. And the game is um, available in many languages, so uh, also in German but of course here in English as well. And with the left controller I can push my left grip button now and then I have my build menu and um, for example when I build when I want to build a street, a road here, I can simply um, use my thumbstick to navigate to the road and then for example I would like to make a small road here and I can decide between two lane road with grass or a normal two lane road and so on. So I will choose that and then we have a straight road here for example or a curved road, freeform road. So you, as you can see it's very flexible here how you can build everything. So I will choose the normal straight road and as you can see you have your fixing points here where you can attach the new road but in reality it does not really matter because you can also use this for example and now you can see I've attached a new road and here's a new crossroad and um, now um, what you can also hear now is this stupid sound. <laughs> I don't know why this is the thing here in this game and it annoys me very very much but um, yes you can you get used to it and um, of course you don't always uh, you don't um, build new roads all the whole time but uh, yes <laughs> at first it was very distracting for me so now you know how to build roads and um, this is of course not the only thing you can see those rasterizations here and at the side of the of the road and uh, this is for this is for um, um, like zonings like areas where citizen can build their houses so I can I can make this zone to a, a residential zone yeah so you can you can say this is a low density residential zone high density a commercial zone industrial zone and uh, therefore I can I can say this is now green like dark green not bright green as here because 
Dark green is the low density and uh, bright green is high density residential zone. So now when I when I look at my little status menu here, I can see the time is on hold. When I push the left thumbstick down, um, the time will go on. And when I push it a little bit more, when I hold it, um, yes, I have fast forward on. And now we could see in a few mi minutes maybe, it depends on how attractive my city is, we could see uh, new buildings coming up here so the trees will disappear and uh, the citizen will build their homes here. like just like here where it's a high density zone so the, the buildings are a little bit bigger um, they are not here you cannot you can see uh, it's not a family house here so it's a it's a skyscraper for example on this side of course you need more than normal buildings you have to build uh, like infrastructure, you have to build electricity lines here. You have to build some some water pumps um, from from uh, the ocean here, where the dirty water can be pumped to the ocean, and maybe fresh water can be uh, grabbed from from the ocean. And um, yes, this is the whole game, the whole thing of the game, as you can see. Um, it's night and um, you can see <laughs> the the sun is just coming up so even if I have fast forward on here and um, the calendar days will go on the general day and night change um, is not as fast as days here and um, here it's a <laughs> you can see I, I've made a mistake so um, um, let I will show it here. So we have to go to utilities here on the left controller and then on water and I've built here a water drain pipe. So no, it's it was a water treatment plant exactly. It was a water treatment plant and uh, it said that I need to build it um, to the to the water here but I've made a mistake and uh, I didn't <laughs> build it here to the water so as you can see the dirty water from all of the houses here they um, uh, uh, the water um, is here on the on the ground so um, it looks a little bit strange but yes uh, this was not right um, but in general I don't know if this is a problem at all now uh? I don't know if the people in my city uh, don't like it maybe and maybe they are not satisfying because of this and um, of course when I now look here I can see that the citizen of my people they will move out so um, the, the houses <laughs> the houses are now here like uh, broken and nobody wants to live here I haven't secured my citizen yes I have no police department of for example and uh, of course this is only uh, a city here uh, which I've built just for for explanation just for uh, the showing purpose um, but it's I think you need two or three cities uh, for training for learning purpose and uh, then maybe the fourth or third city um, which you which you build here is your main city where you can do everything perfectly and um, this is very nice that um, you can learn from every mistake you made here. In this little status menu on the left controller we can also see that I've enabled the mutator that um, I have endless money and uh, I can see that I have that in my city <laughs> or now only now only two people live so everyone is moving out <laughs> and of course this is not the goal of the game so you have to look on the statistics very often and now I pause the game with the left thumbstick and we will have a look into the statistics so I can move my controller here and then I will look I will have a look in the economy and I can see for example the budget of my city and uh, here I can see that um, I've earned like nothing but I have spent a lot of money here in building streets and roads electricity, water, infrastructure and so on. So this is very important to have a look here 
and uh, of course you have to know how much money uh, you you can spend here and this has to be of course um, like uh, other way around here of course you can get a credit here you can just uh, loan some money and um, this is very important when you play seriously here because of course you don't have uh, as much money as you need for the whole infrastructure um, and yes it's very important to get used to this economic thing here in this game another important thing is here of course uh, things like education yes you can see that uh, in my city I have 100% uneducated citizens so <laughs> this is of course not very good and um, this is a statistic as well which is very important and um, it it goes on of course I, because I can see my average health here in my city of my citizen is not very good and when I see how many trees here are on, on the roads and, and beside the roads there's the risk of fire of course so I need fire safety I have to build fire stations with firefighters and of course um, those things are at the same time a help for this risk but of course um, these are jobs for my citizens so um, it's very important to do something against and for it. Yes, crime as you can see um, was a little bit high here in my, in my city but now the, the rate <laughs> is like zero because my whole my whole citizen just left my city and it does not matter when your citizen will move when your citizen die here you just learn from it and after that you can gain from this experience in the next city in your really serious city and I think this would be the best suggestion to start all over here how's the performance of the game the performance is good I would say it's like uh, 72 Hertz and FPS I've measured here in the Meta Quest 2 but when you do something bigger then it drops like to 25 FPS in these situations and this is not very good so when I for example um, want to build um, something I can do um, um, uh, new roads here for example and uh, maybe new intersections and a large roundabout and then the whole game lags but um, it's important to mention that my look around here with my HMD is not laggy so no motion sickness in this moment but of course the the interaction here with the roundabout is very laggy and this is of course not very good it's not a problem when you do little things like like these normal roads but it was worth to mention I would love to see this game on the PC with PCVR with high-end PCVR headsets with a very high resolution PCVR headsets because I think it would be nice to be in the city with high textures with high resolution and no Elizing here, so I, th I hope there will come new games to Steam Store as well. But of course, it's the same thing as always. The people, the the developer, want to develop for the quest as there is the money for them. And when no one buys their games, uh, of course, uh, it's it's not uh, worth any any hour in developing something for Steam. But is this kind of genre a thing here for the, for the quest for VR? And um, this is a very in, in interesting question. And for me, I would say not in general. I mean, it's, it's nice to, to be here in your city, but it's not the biggest benefit, I think. I, for me personally, it's nice that you will be not disturbed from anything in your real world, like your, your cell phone, new messages and so on because you are in VR I just started the tutorial for example yesterday and uh, then and then the hours were very short and it was very very good here in this game the experience and uh, this is of course a very good thing and you can take your quest with you doesn't matter where you are you can go with your quest to your destination, to your place, to your vacation, to your workplace 
and you can play the game and this is a real advantage in my experience and in my opinion as you need a gaming laptop as you need um, a laptop gen in general um, where you can play games like this when you want to do those things not always not only at home How's your impression of this game? Have you already bought this game maybe? So I will look forward. So I would like to know your opinion and your experience in the comments down below. Please consider to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any new video on MRTV, the VR channel, the YouTube channel, the, the YouTube channel all about VR and AR. So thank you for watching, see you on the next video and take care, bye.